Number 84. What is the effect on the concentration of acetic acid, hydronium ion, and the um, acetate ion when the following are added to a acidic buffer solution of equal amounts of acetic acid and sodium acetate? And in this case, we are adding CH3CO2H. Now, in 84A, I went in detail as to how we got this equation to work with here. Okay, so if you do need a refresher, you could always go back to that number 84A in the playlist and, you know, we'll go over it then. However, we're just going to dive in. This question, uh, we just want to know what's going on with the changes in the acetic acid, which is the HC2H3O2. We want to know what's going on with the hydronium ion concentration, which is the H+, and we want to know what's going on with the acetate ion, which is just the C2H3O2-. Now, when they say what's going on, right, they just mean, you know, are we increasing in concentration, decreasing in concentration, or there is no effect? Nothing's going on. Now, that comes from what we're adding here. Now, this may look a little different from what we have, but you can always rearrange this compound. Now, in this case, the back hydrogen is the acidic hydrogen. However, I like to always write the acidic hydrogens in front. So if I just rearrange this, I'll have the H in the front, and then I'll group the rest of my elements together. So I have two carbons. There's two of them here. There's a remainder of three hydrogens, and then there's two oxygens. So this is this. This is acetic acid. And now we know that all we're doing is we're adding more acetic acid. So the acetic acid is going to increase because literally we're adding that compound. So this will have to increase. And now this just goes back to Le Chatelier's principle. Remember, if you increase anywhere on your equation, you have too much of it. So you got to get it back. You got to get a lower amount. So you will always shift to the opposite side. So in this case, the direction that predominates is opposite of where the shift or where the increase is. So in this case, since the increase is on the reactant side, you will shift to the product side. And if you're going to the product side, that means that you're going to be making more of them. And since both of them are on the product side, they both will increase. So in this case, everybody increases. And that's the answer for this. All increases across the board. So hopefully this helped. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. And I think this is the end for 84. So we're moving on to another question. And I will see you there in a little bit. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.